Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to be giving one of these travel quibs, 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 cribs away for free. Round one. Okay, so the first crib we're going to be putting together today is going to be the Uppa Baby. So it looks like all you do is push that down to lock it. This one is losing immediate points for this zipper scenario. <laughs> oh, you have to take the bottom apart to use the bassinet. Why? Oh, and the zipper sticks? I would not call that the easiest setup. I wouldn't call it the most convenient. It is a nice looking crib and bassinet, but if you're looking for something where you can switch back and forth, this one's a little difficult. So the next one we're gonna look at is gonna be the new nut. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of their customer service having had to deal with a warranty. I do like their products. Okay, so that seems pretty simple. We're just pushing this down. So that's a big win. That was really easy. Not a whole lot to do there. This fits right in here. Ooh, I like this one. And this is the Nuna. So some of you might be wondering why you would want to switch back and forth between a bassinet and a crib, uh, or a bassinet and a playpen. <laughs> well, if you're traveling, you're going between play and sleep, so there's that. The other reason might be because, um, like me, I have a smaller office that I work out of all day, and I need somewhere that she can sleep and play, so I will be switching back constantly and probably for the next year. After that, she'll be too big and too smart to be contained. All right, so next one. I feel so like on camera right now with these three cameras staring at me. On to the baby jogger. Okay, right off the bat, I'm liking the way this one is folded up. Suddenly I hate it. This one just sits right on the ground. There's no, no lift in it. Okay, fabric strings hanging off, that's a, big issue for me. This is neat. So it's zipped up in here so you don't have to keep changing the zipper. Okay, so this one so far has the quickest transition, right? To, it's gonna be another zipper scenario. Oh no, okay. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, honey. I wish it had a little more height at the bottom to bring it up, but a usability is pretty good. So let's move on to the Bugaboo Stardust. Hello. This pad is really nice. I'm going to say that. This is a nice pad. Boy. I don't know about anybody else, but like pregnancy weight loss has been pretty rough for me. <laughs> Please leave a comment below if it's been hard on you too. <laughs> oh, but the quality on this one. I gotta say that, the quality on this is really nice. Again, this pad is phenomenal. I really like the tan one and I don't know if I'm being biased because there's a lot of like camel color in my house because I have a severe addiction to Pottery Barn. But right now, this baby is looking like a winner. Slide that baby over there. Okay, so on to baby Bjorn. I want to be really excited about this one. One, because like, look at this tiny little storage. It weighs not much at all. So far, the Uppa baby is the only one I actually had to refer to instructions with, which is nice. Ooh. This one's tiny too. I like it though. I love that you can just full on see through it. This is the only one that doesn't have like an insert bassinet for the top. So the whole thing, 
have noticed Baby Bjorn is more of a minimalist place, which I don't hate. Uh, but yeah, it looks like this one is just gonna be this, no insert. Okay, so as you can see, I've got this rearranged so we can kind of see all of the playpen, bassinet, crib, travel crib, whatever we're calling them because there are a lot of names for these things. I'm going to have my husband and my daughters come out and they're going to look and tell me which one they like. So come on. Holly. Yes, wants to reveal my close up. Oh my God. Where is it? Yes, here we are. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I was just talking with somebody who has had an Australian accent today. So for some reason, if I sound Australian or kind of like zoned in and out, that's why. So like I was saying, I love the Nuna because okay. I like that it's tan. I also like that it's sturdy and in, we have some of their products. So we like that. But I was also liking the Bugaboo. Bugaboo. Which is the like one of the tallest I noticed. Which I like because we're kind of taller people. We're not super tall people, but it's a raised platform. So I like that versus something over here, which you're Five like, three. you're like a hundred percent, like you're digging for gold and you're like, oh my gosh, my back. So, but I wanted to like this one, the, uh, what's this one in the front love? Um, this is the up a baby right here. Up a baby. I wanted to like it. I like the color, but again, hey. Hey, hey. she on. has a very acute eye for how things work, like functionality. And I didn't like what she was hearing about all the hustle and bustle. You know, shouldn't have to have a PhD to put one of these things together. Nope. So stay off the stairs. Come on. Maggie, come here, honey. Go with daddy. Come here, honey. You're supposed here, to be looking at these. What's Which your one? opinion on the baby Bjorn here? So minimalist, hundred percent. It is nothing to it except for four poles and some mesh. Maggie's pointing out something here. This one, like, slides way too easy on a wood floor yeah like i even this is but it's no, half that's the weight pretty stationary this one acts like it has wheels but under. it's half the weight though this thing is super small that thing actually has some yeah girth to it and yes it is it's super know, sliding it's pretty lightweight but this one over here in the back i actually don't hate that i like that one i like this one too this is probably number three for me so out of the five i would say one two three four five if I had to, if, if I had to choose. So just kind of the spread of like dad, I like something that I don't mind lugging something together. Dad's, you know where I am. You're like, Hey, we're the, we're the mules. We're the, the oxes. We haul the stuff, the rhinos, the rhinos. <laughs> so <laughs> the rhinos, he says, Hey, 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 are you sneaking? Uh, grab the banister. Hey, right here. Put your hand up here. And I want you to come down. Good girl. We're trying to very much practice safety. But no, I, I, I don't mind something to lug around. Lugging around, weight usually means sturdy and also value. But yeah. you can have lightweight. Like the Bjorn, again, it's super lightweight. It's probably the most basic, but 100% functional. Now we're gonna do the Blair section. So we did some rearranging here. And now we're gonna let the baby test it out. So, Del. Okay. Tell me, tell me what you think. Oh, right, right around. Okay. Just reiterating here, this is the up a baby. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. I've not had a lot of experience with their products, but I do see that they're pretty popular. Okay, let's put Blair down in here. Oh. What do you think? She's kind of got like a, what is this thing guys? So this one's really cool though. Cause it has this like little front zipper. Hey, you don't need to roll over yet. It has this little front zipper pouch, which might be kind of cool for Maggie to be able to go in and out with her as they get older. Oh. Okay. So this also comes off so you can watch it. Okay, cool. So you just take this apart. It's literally like hard plastic under here though. Not, not like a cover, but just not, like hard plastic, right? It's not soft and squishy. But I mean like, like 
despite the difficulty and zip and zip, 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 this one does have a lot of options. I will give it that. Yeah, I do, I do like it. It's growing on me. Okay. So, let's see how easily we can put it away. Okay, well, that was pretty easy. But you do have to like zip all this back together, right? So it's not 100% not easy, but it was easy to pull up. And if you've ever had like the pack and plays that you have to like adjust the sides to get it to close, oh, this yeah. is really nice. Old finger traps. I get you. But like every time I want to do this on the wrong side. <laughs> so I would be super annoyed with this. Honey, hey, what is on the floor? What happened? You spilled your juice? What is all this, honey? And then we roll this up. Is that not what we do? Is this Should not right? Clip together. No, 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 you're right. But it doesn't. And then those clips go to the other side. Oh. A lot of really cool features. It just also had some imperfections that I don't think it's my favorite. All right. Let's look at the Nuna. Oh, ooh. Okay, baby. Oh, <gasps> smile. Nina? Three. Okay. Oh, this one's more stable off the bat. Like, it has way more stability. Mm -hmm. Um, The other one was kind of rickety. Let's try the bottom part. Three. Ooh. Oh. I wish this one had that little side compartment though, because that's kind of cool. Oh, and the rollover. The roll is real. The roll is real. Aesthetically, I love this color. Go. And it was not an option on the other version. You just reach through here and you pull that up. And wow. And then when Easy. you put it back out, you just push that. So that's kind of handy. And then this didn't wrap around it in the packaging. Let's see here. No. So that's, it doesn't wrap around it. It could just have like a tie or something. Such a miss, Nuna but I do love the color and it, it, it is pretty high quality materials. So who's next? I am not on a roll. Let's give it the baby test. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Okay. Boom. Oh. Big sissy test. I kind of like a little bit of this. Oh. Big smile for mom, <laughs> of course. This one though, okay, so this one was really easy to take down because it rolls up into the sides. Mm -hmm. However, I'm curious as to see how difficult that becomes when you put it back. Yeah. Eventually. Oh my God, that is hard on your back. Oh, I wanted to love this one too. But you could turn on its side and that way you just lay it down on each side that you're working on too. So you're That's not true, let's try that. <clears throat> But it's like zipping the top on like a soft top Jeep. You know mm. what I mean? Like it just, just keeps wanting to get stuck. See, but you like, you would have to do this every time you switch from bassinet to yep. playpen. Like that's, there is no way I'm doing that. I am all about functionality though. And for me, oh, these legs lock in too. Well, not that one apparently. So, that's gonna be a big no for me. Let's put this one away. All right. Come on out of there, please. Yeah, don't like this one. Sorry. Sorry, baby jogger. You're not for me. Watch out, sweetie. Honey, watch out. 
Oh, are you helping mom bring it out, the her banana? Help you. Okay. All right, baby test. Baby test. Baby test. Baby Blair baby in test. one, two, three. <laughs> oh, smiles think, across the board. I think this one's my favorite. This was in my top three. Yeah, I like this one. It's, Yo. it's, it's a clean design. It's a nice. darker color, but it's not a black mesh. Yeah. Like the other ones we were talking and it's about. Like the quality of the materials is really nice. This one's so soft too. It has such a nice pad and it's obviously removable and washable. Okay, so that came off really easy. That was the nicest zipper. Smooth zipper. One, two, three. Oh, because you like tummy oh. time. Whoa. Okay, let's see how Maggie likes it. Here, you get me. Yep, switch. Switch. <laughs> oh, it's a toddler trap. Okay. Okay, so obviously we picked the bugaboo. And if you wanna win one of these travel cribs, all you need to do is be subscribed to this channel and comment down below exactly which one you wanna win. We'll be doing a drawing at random in about two weeks and I will keep you updated on the winner. Now, be sure you read the contest rules in the description below because there are some stipulations like you do need to be located within the US. Good luck.